There were a lot of cool animals that lived during the Ice Age, many of which grew to enormous sizes and developed some unusual features. Here are the top 5 Ice Age animals. Number 1. Megalosaurus Megalosaurus, or more specifically the Irish elk, was an enormous deer that lived during the Pleistocene, several hundred thousand years ago. Although often referred to as the Irish elk, it was neither Irish nor an elk. Most remains of the animal have been found in Ireland, but it lived all across Eurasia, and even in Africa, and it wasn't actually very closely related to what are today known as elk, instead being more like the living red deer. The Irish elk was one of the biggest deer species that has ever lived, at a shoulder height of 2.1 metres, and it carried the largest antlers of any known deer, measuring, at most, 3.65 metres from one end to the other. The reason for this ridiculous size of antler is likely due to display purposes, as healthier males would be able to support larger antlers, and so would appear more attractive to females. Number 2. Glyptodon Glyptodon was a large mammal at 3.3 metres long that possessed a huge shell used for defence. Although it looks a bit like an ankylosaur, it is completely unrelated to them, and is actually related to armadillos, so it's a good example of convergent evolution in which unrelated species evolve similar features. In order to support the heavy shell, Glyptodon had short, strong legs and fused vertebrae. The animal could not retreat inside its shell like a turtle can, so it had rings of armour on its tail, and possessed a cap of bone on the top of its head. Glyptodon fossils have been found in South America as well as North America, which suggests that the animals involved in the Great American Interchange when the North and South continents were joined together for the first time. Glyptodons became extinct about 11,000 years ago, which is just after humans arrived in South America. This, along with other evidence, suggests that humans were the cause of their extinction, as they worked out how to get weapons under the shell when hunting them, and would then use the empty shells as temporary shelter. Number 3. Megatherium Megatherium, more commonly known as the giant ground sloth, was a relative of Glyptodon and modern-day sloth. Megatherium was one of the largest land animals that has ever lived, at a total length of 6 metres, and was the size of an elephant. The only animals larger than it while it was alive were mammoths. The giant ground sloth, like Glyptodon, lived in South America and was involved in the Great American Interchange, travelling to the northern continent, where it continued to live and thrive. The animal then went extinct around 10,000 years ago, and similar to the Glyptodon was most likely hunted to extinction by the humans that arrived in its habitat. Number 4. The Woolly Mammoth The Woolly Mammoth is one of the best studied prehistoric animals ever, due to many skeletons and frozen corpses having been discovered, as well as things such as stomach contents and cave paintings of them. Fragments of their DNA have also been found, and in 2015 it was confirmed that the Asian elephant is the closest living relative of the woolly mammoth. Males of the species could reach a maximum shoulder height of 3.4 metres, about the same size as today's African elephants. However, woolly mammoths were much smaller than other species of mammoth, such as the Colombian mammoth, which grew to sizes of 4 metres tall at the shoulder. The woolly mammoth had many adaptations for living in cold environments. These include a layer of fat that could measure up to 10 centimetres thick, small ears and tails to reduce the loss of heat, as well as the threat of frostbite, and a coating of fur. A study in 2006 examined the genes responsible for hair colour in mammals from a mammoth bone, and found that some mammoths would have had dark coats, while others had light coats. A later study in 2011 found that lighter coated animals would have been rarer than darker coated ones. The cause of the woolly mammoth's extinction was, like the other animals on this list, most likely due to human hunting, but climate change probably also played a role too. The many populations of woolly mammoth went extinct slowly over time, and the last group to die out survived until 4,000 years ago on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean. Number 5. The Sabretooth Cat Smilodon, often incorrectly referred to as a sabretooth tiger, was a large cat, unrelated to tigers, that lived in the Americas. The largest species of Smilodon, Smilodon populator, had a shoulder height of about 120 centimetres, and was possibly one of the biggest cats that has ever lived. Hundreds of fossils of this creature have been discovered in the La Brea tar pits of Los Angeles, which were preserved when the predators were attracted to the pits by trapped animals, and were then trapped themselves, in turn attracting more and more cats and other predators. Smilodon was able to open its mouth much wider than other cats, 
at an incredible 120 degrees, whereas a lion can only reach 60 degrees. This is likely so that Smilodon could still bite into prey even with the extremely long canine teeth. The animal's famous canines were actually very fragile and would have broken easily, so the predator had to be careful. Smilodon had a weak bite force when compared to other cats, which could possibly be to reduce the amount of force put on its large teeth. There is evidence to suggest that Smilodon hunted in packs, so would probably work together to take down large prey, such as bison and camels that lived alongside them. Smilodon also took part in the Great American Interchange, but travelled from the North Continent south. The animal went extinct about 10,000 years ago, around the same time as some of the other creatures on this list. Therefore, it could be linked to the extinction of the large mammals that it preyed on, and there are theories that since it was so specialised in taking down large prey, it was unable to adapt to the smaller animals that survived. However, it may also have been due to climate change or competition with humans, or a combination of these influences. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Remember to follow me on social media and subscribe for more videos.